All fish of the order Siluriformes, sold in the United States, which includes catfish species, are regulated by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, or USDA. If you are packaging catfish of any kind for sale, then your product label must have sketch or generic approval through the USDA. Most catfish labels can be approved generically, which simply means it meets all regulatory requirements. The label does not have to actually be submitted or approved. To save money and time, you want to make sure your label is in compliance. This video breaks down the eight required features of the label, starting with the Principal Display Panel, or PDP. This is the part of a label that is most likely to be visible to the consumer on a retail shelf or in a freezer case. For wraparound containers, boxes or bag labels, this is the front. For trays or boxes, this is the top. The PDP must include the name of the product, net quantity of contents, the official inspection legend, number of the official establishment, and, if necessary, a handling statement. Per USDA regulations, only fish from the Ictaluridae family may be labeled as catfish for retail sale. This includes channel, blue, and flathead catfishes, but not gaff top and hardhead. The product name on your label should simply be catfish, and for the description of the product that is commonly known, such as catfish fillets or breaded catfish strips. It must describe the basic nature of the product and its characterizing ingredients. This includes raw fish containing added solutions. Those ingredients must be part of a descriptive designation. The name of the food must be one of the most important features on the label, in an easy-to-read type style that is one color. No word in the product name should be printed in letters that are less than one-third the size of the largest letter used in any other word of the product name. The USDA wants to be sure that the type and print size of information on your label are prominent and clear. For example, with type size requirements, you must measure the height of the type by measuring the lowercase letter O or similar. The letters must not be more than three times as high as they are wide, and lettering must contrast sufficiently with the background. A final key component of the product name is country of origin. Your label must state product of USA in a way that is easily seen, and must also indicate whether your catfish is wild or farm-raised. All catfish products must have an official USDA mark that shows the fish has been inspected and passed, and the establishment or plant number. The legend can be any size, as long as it can be clearly read and is obvious to the consumer. The net quantity of content statement provides the amount of food in the container or package. It must be expressed in weight or liquid measure. Because catfish is solid, it should be labeled with net weight in English units. Metric units are voluntary. Packages containing at least one pound or pint, but not more than four pounds or one gallon, must be shown as a dual declaration. A dual declaration includes ounces followed, in parentheses, by the largest whole U.S. customary unit. This example puts it more simply. A product that is one and a half pounds could be shown in these varying ways. The USDA has very specific rules about how the net quantity of content is placed on the label. It must be a distinct line item in the bottom 30% of the label, well separated from other information around it, and there is a minimum type size that is based on the total area of the PDP. To calculate the minimum type size, first measure the entire area of the PDP. Use the USDA's chart to figure out the minimum type size for net contents. For example, if your bag is 8 inches by 10 inches, for a total area of 80 square inches, then the height of your type has to be at least 3 sixteenths of an inch. Packaged products that require special handling to maintain their wholesome condition must have the appropriate clear and obvious handling statement, either keep refrigerated or keep frozen. Frozen fish products that are thawed before or during display must have the statement previously handled frozen for your protection, refreeze or keep refrigerated. Now that we've covered what is required on the PDP, let's talk about the information panel or IP, which is immediately to the right of the PDP or on the back of a vacuum pack bag. The remaining features may be placed on the IP or PDP, 
and includes safe handling instructions, an ingredient statement, name and address of the manufacturer or distributor, and nutrition labeling. If catfish is raw or not ready to eat, then additional safe handling instructions are required as shown. More specifically, these instructions are required if fish is destined for retail, hotels, restaurants and institutions, but not on products shipped for further processing at an official USDA establishment. These instructions must appear in lettering no less than 1 16th inch in height and, as on many label features, should be prominent and placed so it is likely to be read and understood before use. The heading must be set in type size larger than the rationale statement and instructions. All safe handling information must be set off by a border and appear in one color printed on contrasting background of a single color. The USDA requires that all foods with two or more ingredients have an ingredients list using common or usual names. Ingredients must be listed in order of their contribution to the weight of the food from highest to lowest. An ingredient statement is not required when the product name provides a complete identification of all ingredients in the food. However, because fish is considered to be an allergen and may cause a reaction in some people, it must be listed on the label either as an ingredient or in a contains statement. If your catfish product has other ingredients, especially any artificial flavorings, colors, or chemical preservatives, you will need to review the USDA regulations for more details. Catfish labels must include the name or trade name and place of business of the manufacturer, packer or distributor for whom the product is prepared. If the distributor is listed, it must be preceded by a phrase such as prepared for or distributed by. The address must include street name and number unless the firm is listed in a local or internet telephone directory. City, state and zip code is always required. Nutrition labeling is necessary for all catfish products, except single ingredient, raw products, and other exempt products such as those produced by small businesses, products intended for further processing, and products prepared and sold at retail. Be aware that if you make any nutrient content claims on the label or marketing materials, then you must have a nutrition facts label and be absolutely sure your product meets the legal definition of those terms. The USDA requires that food products list serving size, calories, and the quantities of certain nutrients and nutrient groups in a specific format. Typically, the nutrition panel also must contain a footnote that explains the percent daily value. It can be overwhelming and expensive to create a nutrition label on your own. That's why LSU School of Nutrition and Food Science and Louisiana Sea Grant have a seafood scientist and experts to help. Visit the Louisiana Direct Seafood Industry page for a guide to the new nutrition label or contact the Seafood Extension Specialist for assistance. One final recommendation that is not required but helpful is adding a pack date or Julian code somewhere on the package, perhaps using a thermal stamp. This allows producers to track product in case of recall and for freshness. For more information, visit the FSIS website and the Louisiana Fisheries Forward Freshwater Fishery page.